Me and Molly had a little bonfire get together with some of our friends from school. This is, this is my cousin Josiah. He's yeah, staying the night tonight. I've had someone from this family in my face like 24 7 ever since I've been here. Oh, I gotta find something first. Oh, okay. Paul? <laughs> Paul's not in here. And I did want to go and uh, smoke some pot, just relax a little bit. I let my guard down just a minute, and off he goes. What is Steven doing? Steven? Yeah. Steven is running down the road. I looked up and saw Steven leaving our property, walking down the road. Steven! I need you to come on back! Ugh! Thank you. Oh, you bitch. I was just going on a little jog slash walk. OK, well, you need to let us know before you leave, OK? Can I go walk back in the woods then? There's somewhere over there. Just chill out here on the property right in here, OK? All right. She said, well, you can have some alone time on the property. And so I kind of just sat there by this tree. Can you just sit on this side, and that way I'll be able to see you from the house? Yeah. That would be great. Thank you. I was just thinking that I don't want to sit here and then I just finally gave up and walked back to the house. I don't think Stephen has yet made the decision to change some of his bad behavior. It was so cute. We're working together. Yep. <laughs> He's great but I'm hopeful that he will decide to make those better choices in his future. Hey, Casey! Might have had a little attitude, but you did not have to bring my family into it, saying they're confused, you know, whatever you were saying. Don't appreciate that, okay? I might have went off on you. Okay. And I'm sorry. I accept your apology. How do you, you feel? You weren't raised in the same home she was, Emily. Well, if she had grown up here, that would never be happening.